you know, let me take a step back actually from our previous video. So before I put in an actual status expression, let's just put in something really basic. So we'll just say if we have any code coverage at all, then we'll return a 1. Just want to show you some of the various states of our status indicator. So let's build and compile, or build and deploy, sorry, uh, this cube, and we'll have the makings of a basic key performance indicator. Okay, now that our cube's processed, let's have a look at our key performance indicator. Now there's a lot of different clients for key performance indicators. So anything from a business scorecard manager to even Excel are all good clients to view key performance indicators. Uh, but to see a mock-up of what your key performance indicator would look like in any of those client tools, uh, the, the SQL Server Tools has a browser view that allows you to see uh, essentially what the KPI would look like inside of the client. So if we switch to that view, we can see our key performance indicator. So we'll see our code coverage. We can see the value right now is just 1.36%, so a very low uh, key performance indicator value, or code coverage value, I should say. Um, and our goal is 60%, so we're nowhere near our goal. Now for now, we put in a dummy value into our status, so we can see that the needle is still well within the green area um, of the indicator. Let's go back and fill in an actual value for this status. So we'll switch back to our form view. And the way our um, status expression works is, based on you know, the value of a conditional, you will either return one, a value between 1 and negative 1. And that will change that icon or the needle of that uh, gauge that we're using. So we'll say if our co coverage percentage is greater than our goal, then that's what we consider a 1. That's what we consider as being uh, very good. I'll say if it's our code coverage is greater than or equal to, let's say, uh, 0.6 or 60% of our goal, then we'll say that we're in a neutral or a zero uh, position. Finally, anything less, we'll consider that uh, as, a, you know, as an error status, we'll consider that as a negative one. And it'll show um, in red. And of course, there's more granularity that you can use with these numbers to uh, move that dial with a little bit more granularity. We'll be really obvious in this particular example. So let's pr uh, deploy and process our cube once again. This time, we should see a real status value. Okay, our cube is processed. So let's go back to that browser view and see a real status indicator. Now this time, we can see that our status needle has moved all the way over to the red, which makes sense because our value of 1.36% is nowhere near our goal. Uh, so in terms of high-level information, um, now someone could look at this key performance indicator and see that you know, the status is red without having to understand all of the, the logic behind how we interpreted that status. So one way of giving a high-level view on you know, a somewhat complex set of data. Now the last field to fill in is our trend information. So right now, we have no way of telling if this 1.36% is an improvement over what we have, um, if it is a step back from what we've had before, or if it is you know, the status quo.